All right, this is the third game of my three-part Steamroller 2012 tournament for March. Uh, the scenario is Gauntlet. In this third game, I'm up against a circle player. His lists are Chromac and Pikaia. I choose Epic Scar because neither of the lists really have enough infantry for Terminus. My list is the Minimum Bane Thralls, Epic Scar, Nightmare, Death Jack, and a Pistol Wraith. So a pretty solid list here. There's a hill to the left, uh, deep water to the right, deep water diagonally across from that, and a big forest on his side, which could be a problem since he's circle. Uh, his list is Chromac, a Gorax, the Druids, a Gnarlhorn Satyr, and a Whirlpool Stalker. Now, as a Chromac player, this list kind of looks a little bit weird to me at 25 points as to what I would want. The Druids don't really do much for the list since they don't trigger Warpath. Uh, I, the Gnarlhorn I wouldn't really like in this list. I'd probably try and have the Gorax and two Stalkers and maybe something to trigger Warpath. Alright, so Crick's turn one. I run up Death Shack, run up Nightmare, run up the Pistol Wraith, run up the Bane Thralls, advance up Scar. I cast, it looks like Admonition onto the Death Jack and Death Ward onto the Nightmare. Um, and this is my turn one, pretty basic. All right, circle turn one. He just advances and runs everything up, puts up his upkeeps, I think he has like Wild Aggression on the Stalker, uh, maybe Inviolable Resolve on the Gnarlhorn, maybe not, I might be wrong on that, but also Warpath. Druids pop smoke too and counter magic. All right, playing Epic Scar, this is the turn that is always pretty sweet. I run up the Death Jack, I run up Nightmare, and I run up my Pistol Wraith. Um, since we're playing with chess clocks, this is... I can see the, the glimpses of hope in his eyes that he's just going to smash these jacks in his calculations. And then I activate Scar. Well, at very last, I activate Scar. I pop my feet, make them invulnerable, and I hit the chess clock and say, your turn. And... Instantly, he was just like flustered and raging about how broken Crix was. All right, so this is circle turn two. I didn't really get this picture in time, but the gist of it is the Gnarlhorn Seder moved up. The Druids also moved up into the box. The Stalker moved and ran backwards to be away from the Death Jack and Nightmare and safe. Crix turn three. So this turn, I charge my Bane Thralls up and kill the Gnarlhorn Seder. I wipe out all but one Druid with Death Jack and Nightmare. Um, I was trying to perdition the Nightmare, but it ended up missing, so it is what it is. Chromac is sitting on a lot of fury, so the assassination wasn't possible. Alright, so circle turn three. He charges Chromac. Oh, well, okay, so first he beasts out on Chromac, uses his feet, charges, kills the Nightmare with it, uh, ends up sitting on about three Fury. Um, the Warpulf Stalker comes up, tries to kill Death Jack, and ends up with Death Ward on the Death Jack, leaving him with about seven boxes remaining and fully functional. So this leaves Chromac in a pretty bad spot. At this point, I assure you that I was just, I had diamonds in my eyes. I was so excited to kill Chromac. Okay, so Crick's turn four, you'll notice that Chromac is still alive, as is the Whirlpool Stalker. Apparently, the, um, the thing of Crick's turn four is that I couldn't roll for shit. So I actually got two Bane Thralls, yeah, in on Chromac, miss, miss, move the pistol right in, two shots, miss, miss, the death jack with five focus, and he just transfers away my shots, and his beasts are just about dead. The Bane Thralls whiffed all their attacks on the stalker too, so that was swell. Uh, Scar's back here with admonition, just in case. So I forgot to get circle turn four, but it basically consisted of the Gorax, the stalker, and Chromac killing the death jack, killing the Pistol Wraith, and killing some Bane Thralls. Um, Crick's turn five brought about 
Scar holding on to all of her focus, charging Chromac, and even though he had like three or four Fury on him, she just keep she knocks him down first with her Great Rack, and then just proceeds to wail on him with her sword, uh, cutting herself for one point of damage each time to be rolling four dice. And eventually, power 14, or power 13 and armor 17, uh, I ended up killing him. And so I won the game. Which means that I ended up winning two games and losing one. So I placed third in this tournament. And this is actually the first time that I've ever placed in a War Machine or Hordes tournament. So I was actually pretty stoked on this. Um, I really like this format where you just take pictures all day at the tournament and then have a report for all of it and you get to see all of your mistakes. For example, I wasn't using Seas of Fate properly most of the time, uh, or I could have been a lot more effective. Thanks for watching, guys.